Hi YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Ion. Alright, so uh, we are leveling up uh, quite nicely. We're at level 14 already um, with our Technist uh, Gunslinger. And uh, just kind of going through and doing some more of the Mossland Forest quests. And uh, we're actually going to be moving on towards... Um, Oh, I forget the name of the town, but there's going to be a little town that we're going to be uh, moving on towards uh, quite quickly, actually. So, first we uh, we have to go back and we talk to Meneer again. Uh, if you remember, we rescued his uncle, um, and the uh, the Lefferists uh, had taken over their farm and everything. So we just had to go and talk to him. And uh, now we're moving right along uh, towards all these other little um, quest arrows here. I could go back to um, the Alcard Fortress. It looks like there's another quest that popped up since I leveled up um, last time. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, as a separate thing because I think that takes us into a whole different area. Uh, so I'm not, going to, uh, I'm not going to bother going and doing that stuff just yet. Because as I recall, that stuff is easier to do once I'm closer to level 20 than I am uh, at level 14 at this point. Alright, so... We just talked to this hunter here, and we are going towards uh, this other group of quests, and uh, to I think it's I think it's Bassfelt Village. I'm not quite sure, but uh, we'll get to see that in a moment. We just kind of run past all these wild togs over here, and uh, look at some of the pretty scenery in the area while we're at it. Yep, see here's the village already. And, yep, Basfelt. That's what it was. Started remembering that. I knew it was Basfelt something or other, but I wasn't sure if it was a hard to pronounce one or not. But <laughs> welcome to Basfelt Village. All right. So we've got a bunch of new quests here, as well as a couple of turn-ins to do as well. So this kind of helps us continue to advance the story. We we'll talk to the general goods merchant have a quest or two for us as well. Yep, one quest. And then uh, I kind of skipped past, um, since they're, they're a merchant, I, I went and I cleared my inventory out a little bit while I was here. And then uh, once I did that, um, I had a couple of things I wanted to put on. I had a pair of gloves that I got. So first I had to unlock them so I could see if they were decent or not. Okay. Or I had to tune them or something. I think that's what it was. Is I had to I had to tune them, and then I realized I don't I'm not wearing any gloves yet. So, of course they're better than nothing. <laughs> so there we go. And uh, these have to be soul bound to me. And when you do a soul binding for um, any equipment, uh, you get that little animation that you just saw right there. Um, you can put certain items on that don't require soul binding. If if it's not soul bound, you can take it off and sell it. Um, if it is soul bound, once you've uh, put it on, um, you can't sell it, or at least you can't sell it in the auction house. You may or may not be able to sell it to a vendor, but you can't sell it to the auction house. And then now I just added a accuracy uh, monostone to um, to my gloves as well um, to improve my accuracy. Um, obviously, as a gunslinger, accuracy is going to be an important stat for uh, for me. And then uh, here I was looking for the obelisk in town, but that's not the obelisk, that's just the flight transporter. That's how I'll be able to get back to Alkart Village um, in the future. Greetings. Sorry, Alt Guard Fortress. <laughs> Alright, so she is challenging me. Uh, her record um, for killing most bears is uh, three in ten minutes. And let's see if we can beat her. You notice at the upper, um, the upper right corner, there's a there's a counter up there now. And so I have to kill the three um, moss bears and um, come back and turn in the quest uh, in under ten minutes. Um, I think this is not going to be a problem. <laughs> Uh, we've got some moss bears right here. We've got the starved moss bears. Those are going to be easy to kill. Alright. 
big old moss bears. And I, I love how they're um, anthropomorphized so that they're, you know, they walk around on their hind legs. Very similar to, I forget the name of the uh, the race, but there's a there's a, a bear um, race in uh, in World of Warcraft as well. Um, although they're not as big as this, um, they're actually much smaller, like small bears. But they are definitely a bear-like species. All right, we just need one more, and geez, go on through these guys pretty quickly. I think we can beat that uh, <laughs> that hunter's record. All right, they're putting a shield up for this guy because. Uh, it's starting to take some damage there. All right, so I'm putting my money where my mouth is. And uh, there's a couple of other uh, players just ran past me there. You can always tell uh, a lot of the players just by their their names as well as the fact that, they <clears throat> that they're a member of a, um, I think it's called a league. Um, what would be called a guild in World of Warcraft. I think they call them leagues here. And I have not joined one yet. Um, I may or may not have to once I get to a higher level. Um, I'm going to probably re uh, remain out of any league um, for as long as possible. I'm just really not interested in trying to um, establish um, a community relationship in Anayan at this point yeah, yet. <laughs> All right. Um, and now we like we proved her wrong. So now we got to look at. Uh, we have two choices here. One, they both give us magic resist. One gives us hit points or, or health points. One gives us mana points. It's like well, um, health points are more important for our class. So we'll go ahead and take that. Now she wants us um, to do ten in thirty minutes. And I'm not going to go ahead and accept it right away because there's a bunch of other quests I want to pick up um, and turn in and stuff first. Um, so I'll do that before I uh, before I take on that quest and then I'll take on that quest and, and do it real quick. Um, and then uh, move on from there because because they're timed quests I have to get them done and come back. I mean I could get it done um, and then try and do all the other quests as well and then come back but I risk the um, danger of running out of time to turn it back in again. Um, I've, I've done that mistake in the past, so um, it's better just to go and run and go kill the ten bears and then come back and turn that in and then just kind of leisurely do all the other quests where they don't have time limits on them. Alright, so there's that quest and my, uh, my quest tracker is going to be getting pretty full pretty quickly here. But, uh, might as well pick all these up. Even uh, even if I can't put them in my quest tracker, um, as I accomplish things for a particular quest, um, it'll show up uh, underneath the quest tracker um, as the current quest that I happen to be completing something for. So, all right, and there is the obelisk that I can tie myself to. So now if I die or if I want to return, I return here as my home point, not um, Altgard uh, Fortress. Okay, so we've got a couple of things here that we're turning in. So I need to search the Lepharist Escort Wagon. So I've got that one. Um, a lot of these quests that I'm picking up right now uh, will actually be done um, in the next episode. Um, I ended up running out of time to run around and do everything. Yeah, I thought I'd check and see if I had any mail, but I didn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I, I, I kind of ran out of time um, just between picking up all the quests and trying to do the timed quests. Um, as you can see, um, this the episode's already almost 20 minutes long, so... Oh yeah, so we have to go back. I have to defeat the Mao protecting the Moos. So the Mao are the big, tall, skinny, cat-like guys, and the Moomoos are the fat little... I don't know what they... what to describe them as, like groundhogs almost, or guinea pigs. <laughs> Alright. So, with that in mind, 
Um, I do need to go talk to, um, let's say I to talk to this guy, and then I also have to go talk to that hunter uh, again, the one that's just outside the village with his little campsite. Um, and then after that, I will go ahead and accept Shania's challenge of um, killing 10 mouse bears in 30 minutes, which we actually do much quicker than that. <laughs> I think they give you 30 minutes again just because they expect you to, to, to pick that quest up and then do that quest along with several others and then come back. But um, again, like I said, I've learned the hard way that it's kind of difficult to do them all and, and get the one timed quest turned in on time. So um, I just find it so much easier just to go um, do it separately. All right, so I'm just kind of checking out my map and seeing where everything is. And there's Shania. I'm not going to pick it up just yet. Um, I'm going to see how quickly I can do it without distractions, even though I ultimately end up getting a distra distraction anyway. And you'll see what that is later. But first we talk to Carl again. Carl the Hunter. It was a very similar campsite to Manure, but be that as it may. All right. We got some sibling rivalry going on there. All right, so now I think I'm going to go back into town and accept um, Shania's challenge and go off and uh, kill us some moss bears. Or moss bears. Not quite sure what, how, how they're supposed to be pronounced, but... Be that as it may. And I'm pronouncing her name Shania mainly because it's spelled the way Shania Twain spells her name, so... I'm guessing it could also be pronounced Shania, but I think Shania works. Alright. See, there's lots of uh, um, other folks in town playing. I use my wings as often as I can. I forget sometimes um, if I'm running downhill to, that I can actually use them to glide downhill, but I try to use them as often as I can. Alright, so one of ten right here. Oh yeah, we have to collect their tusks. And um, again, we're on the on the um, the quick server, and so I with the slower server and stuff like that, uh, definitely when um, when I used to do this quest, it would take killing somewhere between 20 and 30 of them in order to get 10 tusks, because not all of them dropped a tusk. Considering they all have tusks, you know, you'd think, you'd think that you'd, they all drop one, but nope. But with the um, this kind of rapid um, leveling server, um, it's just like boom, 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 they just all drop. Um, the, the drop rate's much increased from what it used to be. What do you want? All right, so now we got to talk to the lunatic over here. And we're trying to t give him a, a cure for his um, insanity, and he's like, "No, you're trying to poison me. <laughs> I need to make a key for my castle. You must, um, you must uh, kill these lake spirits for me to get uh, what I need to make my key for my castle." So here's the here's the one distraction that I uh, allow myself in. Um, in between the uh, the moss bear killings, and there's the lake spirits. We only had to get three of them, so that's good. Again, this is one of those where you have to pick up a drop, and again, it used to be like it would take anywhere from five to ten kills to get three um, lake spirit crystals or whatever it was, or uh, lake spirit. Um, I forget what the material is supposed to be, but anyway, but yeah, yeah, spirit crystals. So, but now I just, you know, it's just, I need three crystals, I kill three spirits. Boom. That's it. <laughs> um, like I said, I, I, I'm really glad that they introduced the, um, this, this type of leveling where you can avoid the grind a little bit. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the grind. I don't mind the grind, you know, grinding too much, but yeah, it can get tedious after a while, um, especially drop quests. And so, um, 
they've really, really improved drop quests um, by doing it um, sort of the, the rapid leveling server. And I'm hoping it's just going to make things easier for me so that I can actually get up to the max level, which I've not done yet. Um, I've, I've never been max level um, in this game. So, and I've, I've got several um, characters that I've maxed out on World of Warcraft, so. So here we go, here's the, what he asked for, and he's like, ah, these are crap. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. And he refuses to still take the stuff, so it's like, okay, never mind. You can stay there and keep being crazy, we don't care. <laughs> Alright. Enough of that. Let's go back to killing the moss bears. And I actually went and I skipped ahead a little bit. Um, just because I didn't want this video to be too long. <laughs> so I skipped past uh, some of the star moss bears and we're up uh, up a hill uh, a little ways and we're now going after some fierce moss bears. Um, who are obviously a little bit harder to kill because they're uh, a little tougher. Like they're slightly higher level. Um, they're yellows instead of uh, off-whites, but be that as it may, they're still not that tough. They're not oranges or reds, thankfully. I'm just kind of bringing out all my uh, all my gunslinger skills, and I think in the next episode, I don't know if I'll record it or not, but I definitely need to go back to Pandemonium, and I think I need some more, because I've been leveling up so quickly. And um, I need to get some training, so I need to, uh, to access the trainer in Pandemonium and uh, pick up some new training manuals and read them and get some, some additional skills. And I may do that before I uh, get into the next group of quests and stuff, just so that I can have, um, you know, make sure that I'm at the, at the best level. Because I know that there's going to be at least one tough fight um, in one of the quests, as I recall. No, it might not be that tough, because I might be a little bit... I think I'm leveling faster than my surroundings, so I, I really rarely encounter anything higher than a yellow. But um, at the same time, I'm like, you know, I, 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 I should try and make sure that I keep my training up as well. Alright, so I'm just kind of checking things out. And here's the last moss bear, and we're still... Well, within the 30 minute range here. For <laughs> so uh, we'll go ahead and get this guy killed and get his tusk. And we'll just go back and uh, talk to Shania again. Say, see, we're better. <laughs> she thinks she's like the uh, end all be all of things here. Alright, there she is. And, uh, yep. And uh, we get leveled to level 15 very quickly. I mean, look at that. We're not, not only did we hit 15, we're uh, one, two, three, four, f almost five bubbles into level 15. So that's not too bad. Just by turning that quest in. Yeah, I'm kind of looking at some stuff. And then um, I noticed that I got um, a new headpiece. Uh, there it is. Shania's head, uh, headdress. Um, I won that as a, as a, quest uh, reward and it looks overall uh, better than uh, than what I'm currently wearing. Um, it's better with evasion which is good. Um, better in a, in a number of levels. And here you can see it's basically a moss bear head um, headdress. So, But uh, I definitely think that that's going to, to help things out in the future. All right, well, that's enough for this week. Thank you for joining me this week. Um, please thumbs up the video if you liked it, and uh, if you haven't yet, I would appreciate a subscription. Until next week, take care. Bye-bye.